three infinitely long charge thin sheets are placed as shown in figure. The magnitude of electric field at point P is x sigma by epsilon naught. The value of x is. See, we have, let us assume we have a plate whose charge density is sigma. Then the electric field at any point is given by sigma by 2 epsilon naught, which is independent of distance r. If we have a positively charged plate, then electric field is pointing away from it. And if we have a negatively charged plate, then electric field will point towards the plate. So here we have point P which is lying between plate number 2 and plate number 3. Now the electric field due to the plate number 1 which is negatively charged is pointing towards the plate number 1 because the plate number 1 is negatively charged. Similarly the electric field due to plate number 2 will also point towards the plate because it is a negatively charged. Now electric field due to the plate number 3 which is a positively charged will point away from it. So this is the electric field which is pointing away from the positively charged plate number 3. Means at this point the electric field due to all these three plates point in the same direction. So we can add these fields directly. So here the net electric field will be E1 plus E2 plus E3. The electric field due to the first plate whose charge density is sigma is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Here we will not consider negative sign because negative sign we have considered in, in finding their directions. Now electric field due to the second plate is 2 sigma by 2 epsilon naught because its surface charge density is 2 sigma and electric field due to the third plate is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Now we can add all these uh, three equations and we will get 4 sigma by 2 epsilon naught. On solving this it is 2, 2 are it is 2 sigma by epsilon naught. So if we compare with this equation x sigma by epsilon naught, our x becomes 2.